comedy is just another way of, of sharing the news. And if you, a lot of people are getting their news from comedians. Uh, you know, and I've always just enjoyed being on stage and telling the truth, sharing the truth, and trying to help people see things a certain way. That's what comedians do. You know, cut through it and say, here's a different way of looking at it. That's how the mind of a comedian works. You know, my mom, you know, she's a news junkie. I remember when I was a kid, I used to go into her room and give her a kiss goodnight uh, before I went to bed and she had, and she might be asleep and she had on the all news radio stations before they had CNN and they had 24 hour cable news. She was listening to the news. She was a new, you know, she's just a real news junkie and that kind of stayed with me. News is extremely important. You know, I think it's so critical to our democracy. People need to be informed. People need to have the information so they can make their decisions. I mean, we can't have a real democracy without having strong news throughout America. And I think that if we, you know, the first thing that happens when people try and take over, you know, countries, uh, the first thing they try and do is they try and shut down the news. They try and shut down our voices. They try and shut down our flow of information. Uh, when you see somebody doing that, uh, that's the devil. And you have to know that's the devil coming to get you. If anybody, yes. If anybody's trying to filter or control what you hear, what you read, that's just the devil in a human body. And you have to protect it. You have to protect that news and you have to make sure people have the information they need to protect themselves and their family, families. So I'm a firm believer that we can't have enough strong local news and we can't invest enough in it. And uh, I joined the board of the NAB to help with that fight because we are, we're in a fight for our lives again with the broadcast network.